today we're going to talk about what you need to do if you're involved in an accident. Um, the steps that you need to take uh, uh, in the, again, the, the bad situation of being involved in a car accident either on your own or with another person, another car or multi-car accident. The first thing that I would recommend is having a written action plan in the vehicle. Um, when somebody's involved in an accident, this is normally a pretty traumatic experience. Most of us are only involved in maybe uh, one accident or a handful of accidents in our life. And most of what I'm about to say will be lost at the time of the accident. So I recommend having a written action plan somewhere in the car, glove box, um, uh, in a console area somewhere that basically says, here's what I need to do if I'm involved in an accident. The most important thing is obviously to make sure that everybody in your vehicle or another vehicle is okay. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, make sure that you're feeling okay, make sure that the other passengers in your vehicle are okay. If there's another car or multi-cars involved or a uh, biker, uh, pedestrian, we want to check on the, on the um, injuries first before all else. Uh, if there are people that have sustained even minor injuries, immediately we want to call um, for uh, medical assistance. Call 911. Let's get the EMS and police out there. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell whether you've been, been injured immediately or what areas of your, your body have been injured because of the fact that, again, there's a lot of adrenaline generally going through somebody that's been involved in an accident as well as kind of a shock factor where you're just not able to feel uh, sometimes pain in your body or you just can't concentrate on that pain. So put in your action plan that you're going to take 30 uh, seconds to a minute to just kind of quietly look yourself over and um, think about the areas of your body that you might be feeling pain in to really concentrate on those areas because a lot of people will say you know I didn't didn't feel any pain at the accident and then 30 minutes later they're going into the um, uh, into the uh, emergency room uh, because they've got all kinds of pain always if there's a child or somebody in that situation involved um, call EMS and make sure that they're checked out. Very likely they're going to uh, probably be required uh, to, to go into the, to, to the hospital to just make sure that there's not any uh, broken bones or, or other injuries that have been sustained, but really try to pay careful attention uh, to people that can't verbalize uh, their pain. Again, after you've called police and emergency personnel and they come out, you want to answer any questions that they have. Uh, if you're involved in an accident on a, on a, a road of light travel, then one of the, th uh, the first things that you want to do, as long as everybody around is okay, is take some pictures of the accident. So you want to uh, snap photos, particularly before cars have been moved. In highly traveled areas, you may have to immediately move your car into a parking lot or off the road just to make sure that there's no safety issues. But if you're capable of taking pictures in the cars as they are, as soon as the accident occurs, uh, it'd be better to take the pictures of the cars where they stand immediately following uh, uh, where they have stopped uh, uh, post-accident. You also want to see if there's any witnesses around, somebody that's walking down the sidewalk or somebody else that pulls off the road and says, hey, are you okay? Um, Ask them to hang around until the police get there so that they can give a report to the police. They can be written down in the uh, police report as a witness. Their contact information will be captured that way. You certainly should uh, capture their contact information, again, if you're capable of doing that. Um, uh, get pictures of the cars and, and, and make sure you, you write down uh, the names and, and contact information for any witnesses. You want to get a copy of the other driver's insurance, exchange your in insurance information. This is automatically going to happen if police are called out, but you want to make sure that there's an exchange of insurance information. You want to follow up on your injuries. Uh, first of all, as soon as you go into a, 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 a ER doctor, as soon as you talk to uh, the personnel there at the roadside, you want to really try to verbalize as much as possible where you're feeling pain, what areas of your body are bothering you, um, how intense the pain is, and really describe in as much detail as you can uh, the, the amount of pain you're experiencing and where. And then you also want to try to take some pictures of your injuries within hours, if possible, after the accident. I really try to document that over a couple day span, but certainly immediately after the accident. 
uh, there will be uh, pictures potentially taken by doctors at the hospital, but you just want to take pictures of um, uh, injuries that you sustained. Finally, you uh, want to just consider contacting an attorney about your case. Typically, most attorneys are going to give a free consultation uh, for anybody that's been injured in an accident. That's an hour or so's worth of, of information that you're typically going to be getting and there's no obligation. So take advantage of that. Um, a lot of people are hesitant to call an attorney because they think I'm going to have to uh, shell out a lot of money to just have a conversation. Contact an attorney. There's going to be free information that you can glean and most attorneys are operating on what is called a contingency fee basis, meaning that if they cannot recover uh, for you in relation to your injury, then you don't have to owe them anything out of pocket. So uh, they can give more insight and information about what you should be doing following the accident. They can concentrate on the legal issue so that you can concentrate on getting healthy.